while most automakers are focusing on battery electric vehicles, few are banking on fuel cell electric vehicles for their carbon neutrality goals. Here are 8 models that are expected in the next few years. Before proceeding with the video, consider subscribing to the top electric SUV channel. Evolved from the iHydrogen Next concept, the BMW iX5 debuted at the 2021 Munich Motor Show. The iX5 looks similar to the 4th Gen X5, but for a few tweaks. It gets new front and rear bumpers, a slatless mesh grille, unique 22-inch aero wheels, version-specific graphics and branding, all in the BMW i blue color. The interior gets hydrogen fuel cell badges on the door sills, instrument panel and dashboard, plus BMW i blue accents on various surface elements and trim. Its features include paddle shifters, multi-zone climate control, powered and heated front seats, a widescreen infotainment system and a digital instrument cluster. The iX5's two hydrogen tanks are made using carbon fiber reinforced plastic and have a total capacity of 13.2 pounds. Meanwhile, the powertrain of the BMW iX5 produces 395 horsepower, which is enough to make this fuel cell SUV feel quite brisk on the open road. The prototype iX5's range is 313 miles, with the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint taking less than 6 seconds, and a top speed being over 112 miles per hour. Units of the BMW iX5 are being showcased in the Netherlands, Germany, and Japan as part of a public demonstration tour. While sales of the iX5 are not planned, if it were to make it to production and reach the states, the BMW iX5 will be more expensive than the X5 plug-in hybrid, with a price tag likely around 80,000 to 90,000 US dollars. The sixth-generation CRV-based fuel cell plug-in hybrid has been approved for launch as a five-seat prototype model. Honda hasn't disclosed design details of the CRV fuel cell electric vehicle, but we expect its general styling to be comparable to the regular model. It should get a large front grille, sleek LED headlamps and sculpted bumpers with a sporty design. The fuel cell EV version of the CRV could feature new paint options, wheel design and badges. We expect a similar treatment to the interior of the CRV fuel cell EV, with the overall design and layout largely mimicking the current gen model. Honda could offer different cabin upholstery and trim, along with a revised driver's display and version-specific badges. It's likely to get a 9-inch touch infotainment display, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wireless smartphone charger, dual-zone climate control, a Bose premium audio system, and powered front seats. The hydrogen version will combine a fuel cell stack with a plug-in hybrid system, enabling customers to also use it as a battery electric vehicle. The fuel cell system was co-developed with General Motors. We expect the battery pack of the CRV Hydrogen to be larger than most fuel cell EVs, though its use will likely be as an emergency range extender. A Japanese publication reported that the fuel cell of the CRV Hydrogen should develop 107 horsepower, with the system expected to be twice as durable as the one in the 2019 Honda Clarity. Honda plans to manufacture the CRV fuel cell version at the same facility where it built the Acura NSX, in Marysville, Ohio, from 2024. Hyundai could launch as many as four of such fuel cell models by 2030, with one of them likely being a new Hyundai Nexo. The new Nexo should have an updated exterior with new alloy wheels, tweaked headlights and revised bumpers, and also be available in new colors. Spy photos indicate that the new Nexo is likely to get new high-definition dual displays and two-spoke steering wheel seen in the Ionic 5. The new Nexo should have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, dual-zone climate control, adaptive cruise control and autonomous drive capabilities with remote parking. The new Hyundai Nexo will be offered with an all-new, 134-horsepower fuel cell stack. This new fuel cell stack will be 30% smaller than the unit in the current-gen model, while its more efficient design means the new Nexo could have a range close to 500 miles. A South Korean publication reported that Hyundai has pushed the launch from 2023 to 2024 due to underwhelming performance of the new hydrogen fuel cell system. Hyundai hasn't confirmed the reported change in the launch schedule, but prices in the US could start at around $62,000. First appearing in a teaser in April 2021, the Hyundai Staria fuel cell is a modern-looking MPV for private and commercial applications. The most eye-catching aspect of this MPV is its front fascia which has a wraparound light bar and large shiny grille with vertically stacked LEDs. The Steria's smart but upscale interior feels comfortable and cavernous with excellent all-around visibility. Its features include electrically operated premium relaxation seats, 64-color ambient lighting, a large sunroof, 
tablet-style infotainment screen, power sliding doors and swiveling second-row seats. The Staria should get the same newly developed fuel cell stack as the Nexo. With a similar battery capacity as the smaller and lighter Nexo, the Staria fuel cell's range could be between 300 and 350 miles. The hydrogen-powered Hyundai Staria is to be launched in a test capacity in certain markets in the second half of 2023. A South Korean publication reported that the Kia Carnival fuel cell EV is in the pipeline, though that's only likely with the all-new fifth-generation model. Our render shows the next-gen Carnival with a redesigned front fascia, all-new split LED headlights, a chrome-garnished grille and a more aggressive front bumper. Kia might bring a few extra features with the all-new fuel cell EV while improving the cabin's overall NVH space and comfort levels. The next-gen Carnival could get an updated infotainment system with better graphics, wireless smartphone connectivity, a digital driver's display, multi-zone climate control and power-operated sliding doors. The Carnival Hydrogen could share the underpinnings and advanced fuel cell stack with the Hyundai Staria, which could make it a highly efficient family MPV. According to local media, Kia plans to launch the Carnival fuel cell EV in select markets around 2027. Land Rover is considering launching a hydrogen variant of the new Defender, with feasibility studies already underway. The exterior of the Defender fuel cell vehicle will inherit the boxy yet sophisticated styling of the current-gen model. However, a hydrogen-fueled Defender could be offered in a unique color and version-specific badges. Its interior should be similar to the regular Defender but with minor tweaks within the driver's display and perhaps some new trim designs. Equipment should include high-definition displays for the infotainment system and gauge cluster, heated and cooled seats, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, wireless charging, multi-zone climate control and a panoramic sunroof. Gareth Potter, the hydrogen fuel cell EV project manager at Jaguar Land Rover, has revealed that the prototype version of the hydrogen-powered Defender has two 197-horsepower motors, one at the front and one at the rear, and a 16.7-kilowatt-hour battery pack. Auto Express reported that the all-electric Defender will arrive in 2025, with Land Rover likely launching the first prototype of the Defender fuel cell later the same year. An Autocar report cited Range Rover product chief Nick Miller admitting the MLA platform's capability of supporting a hydrogen powertrain. Range Rover's hydrogen version should look just as polished and classy as the conventional model but with some subtle differences. Expect version-specific badges and perhaps a new wheel design, with the possibility of a couple of new color options as well. Features expected include a panoramic sunroof, adaptive air suspension, massaging and climate-controlled seats, a touch infotainment system with Amazon Alexa and smartphone connectivity, four-zone climate control and wireless charging. If Land Rover equips the Range Rover Hydrogen with the dual-motor configuration expected in the Defender, its combined system output would likely be over 450 horsepower. Both could share a similar battery pack too. There's no concrete launch date for the Range Rover fuel cell EV yet, but an early prototype could be introduced around mid-decade. With the 9th gen Hilux still a year away, Toyota has converted the current gen model into a hydrogen-powered EV in the UK. It looks identical to the regular model, with an imposing front end, projector headlights, a chrome-trimmed grille, rugged black cladding all around, and a silver skid plate. There are gloss black alloy wheels and black door handles. However, the next-gen model will get a more modern and upmarket exterior and interior. The next-gen pickup's cabin should be more premium and modern with a new instrument cluster and Toyota's new audio multimedia system. The hydrogen prototype gets Toyota's second-gen fuel cell technology, which is also used in the Mirai. If it's an exact replication, then the pickup will have a 1.24 kilowatt-hour battery, carbon fiber reinforced tanks holding 12.3 pounds of hydrogen and a combined output of about 180 horsepower. The Hilux Hydrogen could be launched in the UK, Japan, and a few other markets, but we don't think it is a potential product for the US. Anyway, the Hilux Hydrogen will likely not come to the US, but if put into production, it's likely to make it to the UK. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do hit that red subscribe button and also ring the notification bell to stay updated.